Hello guys, you're joined by Tiz and Phil. We're going to talk to you about our Premier League predictions once again. Phil, we had a bit of a mixed week last week, not as good as the week before, but we still did alright. Yeah, no, we did, we some, some good results in there for us. Yeah, there was. This week, we've got all 10 games to talk about now, there's no FA Cup interfering, so we've got the full lot to go ahead. First game, early kick-off. Early kick-off, we're going to St Mary's Tiz, and it's Saints against Hull. Yeah, so, mm. Saints, the home form's not been incredible. No. I think the main point, the main talking point in this is going to be Hull's terrible away record. Yeah, as I say, the Saints have lost three out of six games yeah. at home, which isn't great. However, Hull have lost five from six yeah, exactly. away from home, so that's horrendous. Yeah, Hull have taken one point now from the last 15 away games in the league, so that's one draw in 15 away games. That's terrible. Um, the home form, obviously, is what's kept them in the running now. That's yeah. kept them with a chance of being in the Premier League. Away... Yeah, obviously they're struggling do you think it's going to turn around this weekend or not I've got a funny feeling they might nick a point if really? I'm being honest yeah. I think their desire might be a slightly greater than Saints's because yeah. Saints' season is now effectively dead no fair They've enough got nothing to play for yeah so I think I'm going to go hold to nick something right yeah they showed good character last week went down to 10 men still went on and did the job against Watford yeah uh, I think everyone thought it was going to go the other way once that red card came in I still think I'm a stats guy myself, and you've got yeah. the stats there, and I sort of I do heavily rely on stats sometimes, to be honest with you. And I look at that, and I see I see 1.15 games, and I, I have to side with Southampton to win, unfortunately. No, it's fine. So I'm going to go hold to Nicky. I'm going to go one all. Yeah. So different views there. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Next game, then, Phil. Next game. This is a horrendous game on paper. Yeah. We've got Stoke against West Ham at the bet three six five. Right. Okay. What are you thinking? Keep away. Don't talk about it and go home. You're going to play the no-play card. Just no betting in this. We're going to say no betting in this oh, game. No betting. It's just horrendous. Like We talk about it. Stoke have only once, one in six. Yeah. Um, West Ham, unbeaten in three, yeah. but not convincing at no. all. They threw a major curveball last week for me, West Ham, because when they played Everton, I think everyone in the country had goals in that game. Yeah. That nil-nil was... Uh, maybe really want to stay away from this game now to be quite honest with you and last week it was an awful game of football as well yeah it was terrible it really was a poor game so I think there's no point in really talking about this no, anymore then is there on. we ain't going to have a bet on this move on next one again Sunderland against Bournemouth at the Stadium of Light so Sunderland already out of it they're down Oof, they ain't yeah. coming back now no Bournemouth will still think they need a win here yeah so, I think they're just about safe, but, math, but mathematically, yeah. it, there's still a little worry there. So, yeah. agreed. Um, I say Bournemouth, no winning six, and losing to Middlesbrough midweek yeah. is an absolute shocker of a result for them. Yeah, do you think Sunderland's home form then might help them nick something? Or? No, I just can't see it. They just can't keep clean sheets. Yeah. Leaky as you like. Yeah. Um, so, I think and Bournemouth score goals. Yeah, King is, is a good shout for a goal. Even Emma yeah. Kofobi yeah. has scored goals of late. Yeah. So, I, I think Bournemouth will win this. Yeah, and with Phil here, I think if I'm going to go for a bet in this, I'm going to side towards Bournemouth to win. Yeah, Bournemouth and Josh King any time. Yeah, two good bets, I think. Next up. Right, next one. We're going to the Hawthorns. We've got West Brom against Leicester. Ooh. Um, tricky one. It's, not, it's, tricky not, one. it's not a great game, looking at, looking at the stats. Yeah, it's a tricky one, that. I'd be tempted to go for a draw in this. West Brom have dropped off a little bit. The goals have dried up a little bit compared to where they were at maybe seven or eight games ago they had a really good season up until then yeah, they've lost three in a row which is unlike a Tony Pulis side yeah, as well yeah exactly so I think they're going to need a response Pulis will be looking for a response here we all know Shakespeare's impact when he came on board he was winning every game I think he was like five or six in a row obviously now the Champions League exit there's been a couple of losses in the Premier no League no winning five so, yeah, for Leicester exactly so. so for me it makes me think they might just cancel each other out a bit and it could be a draw again though Leicester might be a little bit worried they're only yeah. on 37 points yeah they're not done yet so they're, 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 they're not quite out of it just yet yeah is a thing but I agree with you I think it'll be a point of peace yeah so we're going for a draw in that game I actually fancy unders in this one as well yeah um, the way I've seen Leicester play recently they, they were quite open before but they've actually tightened up again I think haven't they no, they've, agreed. they've got a bit they've got a bit more solid at the back and I think unders could be a good bet in this game as yeah, well yeah no I'm with you on that one Tesla like that yeah so 0-0 or 1-1 is pretty much what me and Phil would yeah. in this Right, the last Saturday game is at Salhurst Park and it's Palace against Burnley. So it's at Selhurst. Yep. In that case then I'm gonna go and side the side of Palace. Yeah, but I'm Burnley no away win all season. Yeah. And we all thought they were safe six weeks ago, however, yeah. they're in they're in a spot of bother. Yeah, because the Palace likes off Palace, Hull, Swansea are keeping their chances so, alive. Well the teams down below them are actually winning games at the moment. Yeah. And Burnley have only once won in eight games. Yeah, exactly. So 
they need something just to push them over that boundary again they're teetering the on the edge and they've not shown anything away from home again which is another worry and they're away this weekend against an informed Palace who are in that battle with them yeah well Palace have only lost once in five yeah so I mean the, the talking point now is Sacco yeah how much of a detriment to their team is his injury now I think it's huge um, I was at Salas Park to watch the Tottenham game yeah and until he went off Palace actually looked comfortable yeah at the back um, he done a great job on Harry Kane. Yeah. But as soon as Dane Laney come on, they weren't the same side. Yeah. So I I think it could be a worry yeah. for them. They've been keeping clean sheets. Um, obviously that's been helping them get over the line because they've been nicking games one and two nils and yeah. stuff like that. So for me, I think that's a big loss. I still think Palace will just edge this one. Yeah, I, I see a lot of goals in the Palace side now as well. Yeah, exactly. Compared Benteke to Benteke, compared to Bernie, Benteke and Zaha, yeah. punching. They're all in fairly decent form yeah. going forward. So I, I agree with you. I'm gonna edge Palace this one yeah so we're both going for Crystal Palace in this game right on to the Sunday we've yeah. got United against Swansea at Old Trafford yeah loads of people oh, they'll always slate you when you pick United because they draw so many games especially at Old Trafford but when Swansea I think they've lost the last six away now six in a row away from home um, for me I think you've got to go United United are without Zlatan but we've seen already that the youngsters are capable of doing a job yeah. Marshall's done well in the game in his last game Rashford obviously before that came and did a job so even Rooney scored yeah exactly as well. so, away at Burnley a tricky yeah. result yeah away at Burnley no, to, a very to hard game yeah. um, and they've gone there they've won 2-0 done a professional job for me that's a harder game than this weekend's game yeah agreed uh, so for me I'm going to give United the benefit of the doubt and I'd say United to, to win and it's 1-3 to three, is it the price yeah I, I think they'll win comfortable as well yeah so who do you go as a goal scorer then this week you never know who's going to start it's the hard no. problem um, um, I'd probably go that I'd say United to win to nil yeah that'd be our bet yeah because they, they look solid at the back now um, yeah, they do. Eric yeah. Bailly is starting to look a great buy yeah no, no he is. Yeah. so yeah I don't, I don't see Swansea causing them too many problems yeah at Old Trafford so United to win United to win to nil then next up then Phil next up huge one at Goodison Park we've got Everton against Chelsea this is pretty much a title decider agreed this game because Everton are probably the only team now who have a chance of maybe nicking three points against Chelsea in their running in my opinion yeah I think if Chelsea go there and win it's game over yeah um, no chance where if Everton can get something it keeps it alive yeah although, although very slim yeah it is still alive there's that much more pressure than on Chelsea as well in the next coming games agreed yeah where they are more likely to falter for me Chelsea I still think they've got enough unfortunately for your lot but go on Everton have won six in a row they have at home. they are doing really well so they are there and Chelsea have lost that streak of instability where they didn't concede goals Yeah. where now they're conceding sluggish goals silly goals is it the last, last 10 games they've conceded so, now? yeah there's no, no clean sheet in yeah, 10 it's a crazy just, start we had this in the office the other day and people can't believe it when we actually yeah. brought it up and that's probably not the best stat you want when you've got the um, Premier League top goal scorer against you in Lukaku no absolutely not so yeah, you, I don't know um, I think both teams to score is a good bet in this game yeah I agree over two and a half as well yeah I, I quite like that so goals we'd fancy goals I mean I'm going to side with Chelsea to nick something there just they seem to have that mentality about them where when the going gets tough they sort of make sure that they just get themselves yeah. do a job the, nit, the nitty gritty stuff that they like I think yeah coming from a Spurs fan I'd obviously love Everton to get something yeah however I think Chelsea will ground out a 2-1 win yeah and I'm with you I'd say 2-1 as well yeah I say it pains me to say it but yeah Right, that moves us on to Borough versus City at the Riverside. Um, Borough got a fair play, Borough. They sort of kept themselves in it. I think Borough are out of it as well still. Yeah, I think, uh, too I much, I think they're going to go to the Championship, but they got a much needed three points against rivals Sunderland yeah. in the last game. I think City will be too strong now. Yeah, so that was only Borough's first win in six. Exactly. So, poor form. Um, however, City aren't great on the road. No, no, no they've, it's, yeah. they've lost um, a three out of six, but yeah. you still fancy them have far too much for, for Borough. You would, little... yeah. I mean, they've got goals in the team. Borough have struggled to score all season. They've scored a couple more of late, but I still don't think they outscore City. No, I agree. So I see it. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think City, maybe 2 3 now. Yeah, you got I, I think it's, it'll be quite comfortable. City half time, full time for me. Like that as well. Yeah, that's what I'd be going for. What's the next one? Next one's a big one on Wild Heart Lane. Yeah. We've got the North London derby, Tottenham versus Arsenal. Tottenham versus Arsenal. Yeah, I don't Do you know what? I like your lot. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I actually like your lot. I think your lot evens. <laughs> is, 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 it's about right, the price. 
when you consider you've won is it 11 in a row at line 11 now? in a row at home um, and 9 Premier League games in a row home and away yeah so in great form yeah. Yeah. that respect uh, I think Arsenal yeah. have so, um, yeah, obviously had a bad season I think in the league for me yeah um, it looks like Europa oh, League's sorry, pretty much going to be there the so yeah no agreed um, as I say Arsenal have lost 4 out of 6 yeah. away from home as well yeah they are. so they're not in yeah, it. I know they beat Manchester City in the semi-final, mm -hmm. but it wasn't convincing. No, it wasn't. It was almost a, a smash and grab where City missed a host of chances to yeah, get there. They did. I mean, Spurs at the moment for me, the way they're playing, are probably the, the most entertaining team to watch in the league. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say they're the best team there. I think Chelsea still are the best team, but I think the way they're playing at home, they're, they're turning teams over. They're the best home side in the league. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. For me at the moment, they're destroying teams. It's not just one or two nils. It's no. Literally, they're putting three or four past every team that seems to go there at the moment. Yeah. So I think for me, Spurs will do it this week. Yeah, I'm gonna say I like I like Spurs as well. Yeah. I say I can't both like anything team, else really. Both teams to score. Both teams to score over two and a half, and Tottenham win. Yeah, a few cards maybe as well. Yeah, yeah. You went you back against it's it. A good, good Super Sunday game. Yeah, exactly. Who have we got then? Next. Right, last one is Monday Night Football. Is Watford against Liverpool? Watford, Liverpool. It's an interesting one for Monday Night Football. Um, yeah. Watford's home record is actually really good. Yeah. And they've only lost once in six at home. Mm -hmm. However, the performance last week was horrendous. I know they were away. Yeah. But Troy, even Troy, time, Troy Deeney came out and slated his own players. Yeah, he was apologising to the fans after yeah. the game. Said there was only one team playing football, the other team was playing FIFA. Yeah, the heads, so, the heads had gone for some reason. The heads yeah. went for half time, you could see footage. Uh, the heads, they were arguing with the referee about stuff, and you're thinking, if you're, if you're Watford, you've got 10 men, surely you're happy with where, where yeah, you're at. Agreed. So they're against 10 men, you're sure you're happy going into half time thinking, we've just got to do this now. But their heads just seem to go, so they've got a question of mentality. But then last week as well, Liverpool showed their huge frailties at the yeah. back against Palace. They did. The, what was most worrying for that Liverpool team was the lack of options and quality on the bench. Yeah. There were so many youngsters in there, and you think a lot of people were slating Klopp because it, it took, took too long to change it. But I'm looking at that bench and I'm thinking it can't be inspiring no. to see the options there. And you've got like you've got likes of Firmino, Coutinho. Uh, on the bench, uh, sorry, on your, on your starting lineup, and you've got to bring the likes of Woodburn and yeah, other no, youngsters agreed. who are unproven at this level in a game that is potentially a top four clincher. Yeah, as I say, do you think they've blown their top four chances losing at home last week? It's a hard one. It depends what happens with United, does it, obviously. I think United are the ones that are going to do it. Arsenal, I think, are out of the running. Um, it's down to United for me. I think, obviously, we're filming this before the Manchester derby. The Manchester derby is tonight. Mm -hmm. I think if United can get four points from the next two games, yeah. I think they've they edge Liverpool this is it I mean it's I think they're relying on City to do them a favour at the moment Liverpool to be quite honest with you yeah um, so yeah we'll see what happens tonight if United go and get a win I think I fancy United no I quite agree with you to get top four right so back to this one I think this is an intriguing one to call yeah I'm going to go I'm going to go with both teams to score yeah I can't call a result so I'm going to go with draw I don't think I think Liverpool's price is too short yeah miles too short um, so I think the value's in the draw, so I'm going to call a draw on this. No, I like, I say, I like both teams to score Yeah, with you with you as well. Again, I just wonder that maybe Liverpool's desire might be slightly bigger than Watford's. I fought that at the weekend and they didn't do it. No, yeah. That's, there was... that's my that's my only worry about that. But yeah, I'm going to get both teams to score would be my bet. Yeah, I agree. Goal man. result, I'd say draw, but I wouldn't bet on it. Yeah, no, I'll move you on that one, Tiz. Yeah, so there you go. That wraps it up then, does it? Yeah, that's the weekend's football. Right, that wraps it up. Thanks very much for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment below. Let us know your thoughts on this week's video and any videos you want us to do in the future. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys.